Hi, I'm Eleanor, this is IFL Science, and today we're asking the question, can just one all-nighter rewire your brain? Have you ever pulled an all-nighter and wound up feeling wired, hyper, and even a bit drunk? Well, scientists are looking into that feeling to see if they could harness it and help treat people suffering from depression. A new study in mice has uncovered the changes in the sleep-deprived brain that seem to be linked to depression. The thought of having to forgo a night of sleep is not a cheerful one for the majority of people. But when forced awake by unfortunate circumstances, such as a night shift, long trip, or last minute study session, many people feel they're surprisingly upbeat the next day. You might describe it as feeling tired or wired or even a bit giddy, sort of delirious, but in a good way. If just one all-nighter can have this kind of effect, scientists reason this could help us better understand how the brain changes to affect our mood and how some antidepressants like ketamine can kick in so quickly. Ming Zhen Wu, the first author of a new study into sleep deprivation, said in a statement, Changes in mood state after acute sleep loss feel so real, even in healthy subjects. But the exact mechanisms in the brain that lead to these effects have remained poorly understood. Wu and the team performed experiments in healthy adult mice. They devised a system for keeping the animals awake, while also minimising the amount of stress they were under. After a night of sleep deprivation, the authors observed the mice behaving in a more aggressive and hypersexualized way. Dopamine signaling was increased in the animals' brains, but they weren't sure whether this was specific to certain regions or a whole brain effect. They took a closer look at four regions, the prefrontal cortex, nucleus accumbens, hypothalamus and dorsal striatum, monitoring them for dopamine release and then silencing them one by one. The antidepressant effect persisted, except when dopamine inputs were silenced in the prefrontal cortex. This means the prefrontal cortex is clinically relevant area when searching for therapeutic targets. But it also reinforces the idea that dopamine neurons play a very important but very different roles in the brain. Depression affects 16 million American adults each year, and antidepressant medications are widely used. While some have found traditional antidepressants to be transformative, they don't work for everyone and can have significant side effects. Studies are exploring the potential of new approaches, such as psychedelics for the hardest to treat cases, but there's always a need for improved understanding that could lead to new therapies. However, pulling an all-nighter should not be used as a quick fix. Organisms may have evolved the state of heightened awareness for times when delaying sleep and being on high alert could protect them from predation and other threats. But over time, the problems of chronic sleep deprivation will quickly begin to outweigh these benefits. This is an important reminder of how casual activities like pulling an all-nighter can fundamentally alter the brain in as little as a few hours. Let us know in the comments if you've experienced anything like this and we'll see you for the next Eiffel Science video. Goodbye.